Yes guys, thanks for coming by or coming back, it's me Geeky Mandem and welcome to another episode of the Shiny Regional Series. Today's going to be really fun because we're looking at Meowth and Persian and we'll get Berserker in there as well. We're going to do a camp comparison, we're going to do a bit of a walkabout, we're going to look at them going into battle and then we're going to evolve them and do the same all over again. So sit back, hit the like, tap the sub, just enjoy this video. Right, we're going right in with a camp comparison. We're going to start with the original, original, original here, the Kanto regions. And as you can see here, the difference is really obvious, although it's quite subtle. It's just the fact that now the gold has become a pink colour. So you've got a pink tail, the pink feet, and the pink ears as well. The skin, actually, if you look at it, is slightly different as well. So I don't know if you can notice that, but the uh, <clears throat> one, the shiny version is a little bit darker, and the Kanto, uh, the, Kanto the, uh, the original version is a little bit lighter. If you look, you can see it if you look close enough. Um, but this Pokemon is a really cool Pokemon as we know, it's one of the faves because it's from the series, the original series, so it really gives you them good memories and good vibes, but I love the way that they look, I love the pink on it, it's very small but a big difference which I really enjoy. Alright, let's go on and move on to you, I've got a lot to go through today, so let's move on to the next couple. Alright, next up we've got the uh, Alolan variant here of the Meowth, and as you can see here with the Alolan one, the difference is much more obvious because the darker skin is really clear now, got a very strong purple colour, got the uh, even more like purple kind of tail on the ears and the feet, so the same differences but much more obvious, and like the, the original one, the normal one over there, much more of a lighter sort of colour, much more of a lighter feel, but again they both look amazing, um, really cool change overall, I like the much more relaxed look and you can see it looks very naughty and cheeky as well. Alright, let's get the brand new for Gala ones out now too. Okay, and here we have the brand new uh, the Gala region Meowth. And these two are very friendly because as you can see they're very close together. And uh, these ones, is, it's very, very different. So it's got the same rough shape as you can see. But it's got this massive like sort of furry sort of uh, mane in the front. That looks really, really cool. Makes it really stand out compared to the other two. And I'm loving the horns as well here. So really great look on the Pokemon. And now we've gone from shifting the purple or pink on the other two to black. Got the black feet. We do have the, the ears are slightly different because the ears of the inside is actually the same. And the tail there, as you can see, is black as well. So um, and you can see when it turns around as well, but it's just the main. It's not the whole Pokemon's actually that shape. It's like it, like a beard or like, you know, like on the front. So you can really see the difference as it turned around. Uh, but yeah, these, all, all of these mouths are really good. Let's move all right, guys, this is going to be really challenging to do. We're going to try and look at all three of them. It's going to be hard to do at the same time. But as you can see here, we'll get the Kanto versus the uh, Galar region. And you can see here, like, the, the difference is hard to note or very easy to notice but hard to tell that it's actually not much of a difference as i said if you look at these guys when they turn around which hopefully they would in a moment you will see that the back of them looks exactly the same and that's because the region the uh the gala variant actually just has like a main or a bid so when it turns around you'll see actually here we go there's one turn around and the other one as well please come on turn around for us and then you can go to so the body is actually exactly the same body yeah it's just that it's got the i'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see me, but it's just that it's got that bid and that's all that makes it different and let's bring over the uh, the Alolan and the uh, Kanto here because this this is probably quite good to compare because these guys you can see the differences are much less less clear so obviously the Pokemon are different colours but if you look at the whiskers that's the main difference here the whiskers actually are slightly different different angled otherwise the Pokemon looks the same yeah it's holding a different position different pose but it looks very similar yeah um, I've got to say for me the purple looks great I love the look of the purple more. Uh, but the original is the original. We can't, we can't not like the original. And here comes the other one in the background. Oh, look at that! There we go. That's probably the best we're gonna get. Uh, that's probably the best we're gonna get. But um, so there's all three of them together, guys. Try challenging to be free because you know we can only call two at a time. But we're gonna move on, and we're gonna go for a bit of a walkies. And here we are in the uh, Crown Tundra. And this is the first time we've actually been by a Dynatry, I think, for ages now, and it's not been raining. So I'm really happy to see this actually sunny here. Uh, if you've been keeping up in the series, you know it's been raining for like the last, what well, I don't even know, like maybe eight episodes. It's been crazy. So, we're going to go for walkabout of, uh, with Kanto first. And I don't know how it's going to move, because I, I think it's going to move quickly, but like the Volpex, it might just not have very big steps to keep up with us. So let's go off and see what happens. Yeah, as I expected. So although it does really go for it, it's just so small that its steps are not big enough to really keep up. Um, but I do like it. It looks so cute there. It's just so small and running in the background. Really nice. I do enjoy it. It looks like it's really trying, like so hard that it just can't. Um, excellent. You catch up. Let's go over to the Alola now and see what that one looks like. I wonder if it'll look the same or different. I really don't know. Okay, so we've got the Alolan Meowth now, and we're going to go off slowly because last the last one couldn't keep up. So I'm going to walk and see what happens. 
I can go a bit faster. So I actually think it's the same as before. I do, the run looks the same to me, like the arms are right and it's running forwards. Um, so I do think it's the same. And it's just about as fast as well. As you can see, if I go too quick, I'll get away from it. Like, it's really trying, but it can't keep up. But I've got to say, I really, really love the purple across this, this terrain much more than the uh, the, the other colours. It's really, really good. All right, let's go for the brand new uh, Galar region now as well. And here is the Galar region now. So let's uh, get moving and see. I think it'll be the same. Oh, you know what? That's definitely slower. Like, that is definitely slower. And I guess it's because it's got to carry that huge beard with it as well. Because that's definitely a slower moving Pokemon. The steps are different, you can tell as well. The arms are up, but you, it just looks completely different. Definitely very obviously different. But I do like it. Not as much as the other ones, I think. I like I like the way it run, the other ones run more. Because they actually are moving, I feel like. This one's definitely slower. Um, and again, like the purple on the terrain for me is what really stands out. Cool, let's get these guys into battle and see what they look like going in. First up is the Kanto Meowth. Let's jump in. Man, still no shiny greetings. Okay, so we got the uh, yeah the standard. I feel like I've seen that a million times because obviously watching the cartoon, it's quite often that Meowth talks very animated with his paws. So I feel like I've seen him do that so many times. Um, quite a nice animation, very like very cat like. It's the typical like rawr, <laughs> as we expect to see from like a cat sort of um, impersonation. Maybe not cats in real life. Um, and then we've got the star shiny animation this one and I'm I'm pretty sure I've got this one from let's go and trade it in which is probably why it's definitely a, a, it's not a star shiny so it's a square shiny but other than that like it looks looks pretty cool the back of the Pokemon I like because it's got the tail of the car so it has an interesting back compared to some of the other Pokemon that kind of like a lot of Pokemon you see on the game they kind of just ignore the back side of it and I always find it interesting because for us playing when you're playing until recently most of the time you see is the back of your Pokemon anyway um, but yeah let's move on to the uh, Alola version and see what that looks like Right, Alola's about to jump in now and see what we get in the battle. Whoop. Wow, we don't. Oh. All right, so, so that one, I think we had a bit more animation than that. So I may have missed this last time, but I don't remember the seeing the foot come up as off the ground with the with the uh, Kanto region. So like, I like that the Alola sort of takes the original move and then maybe improves it a little bit. Um, I'll have to double check now when I go back and record later on. But I, I did like the look of that. It looks really cool. It makes it a bit more like it's like a bit, a step further, if that makes sense, which I quite like. And we've got a star shining with this one. And uh, this one we definitely got from uh, Let's Go as well. We did the trades till we got it. So we've got a star on that one. You know me, I don't like my stars. I like my square shinies. But I'm still happy with it. As I said, the colour is fantastic. So I'm really glad to see that. Uh, let's get the new, new, new Galar region me off a try now as well. Okay, and last but not least, we have the Meow from the Galar region. Let's go in. Let's see what it does. Excellent. I'm so glad to see this um, because it's got a completely different animation, and that's what I really like about when they do a new Pokemon from a new region and they change the animations completely. So this one, very different, gives me that Wolverine vibes as well. Not just because the claws come out, but like if you're if you're a comic book reader, you'll know Wolverine does this like almost every page. So um, really good to see him doing that. And I love the way the claws come out and they go back in again. I love the retractable claws. Very cool look. And as we know, cats have retractable claws anyway. And like normally in the comic, oh sorry, in the cartoon for um, for Pokemon, you'll see like the Meow from the Team Rocket do it a lot with his claws. So I like seeing this happen here. It's really really good. In fact, actually, I remember the Alolan, the Alolan uh, one doing it as well in the in the, uh, in the cartoon as well. So, horns here are much more prominent as well, which I like. But the old animation was really good. Um, the back's interesting as well. I keep saying it's got the curly tail. But let's move on and let's evolve these guys. And that's what we want to see now because there's some big differences coming up for sure. Okay, guys. First of all, we're going to go with the Kanto Meowth, the OG Meowth. It's ready to evolve. So let's have a look and see what happens. There we have it. So we have the Kanto shiny now, and it looks really cool. I like the look of it. Um, again, we'll compare them later on, so let's just move straight on. Okay, guys, so we've got Alola Meowth ready to evolve now. For those of you that don't know, to evolve Alola Meowth, you actually have to create a good friendship with it first. So we've just spent some time in the camp cooking up and just make, making play, uh, fun with it, playing with it, stuff like that. But it's ready to go, so let's see the evolution.
There we go. So it has evolved. Just take it in for now. We're going to compare it a lot later. But I do like the look of it already. I like the gem on the head. That makes me think of something like Psychic. Um, here we have the final of the trio. We've got Meowth, Galar region about to evolve. Let's have a look and see what happens. Okay, so this is a completely new, brand new, different Pokemon, as you can see here. It's not a Persian. It's a Perserker, as we can see on the screen. And uh, we'll talk about that more in just a moment, but let's move on for now. Right, so we are back in the camp. And we're going to have a look at the differences between shiny uh, Kanto region Persians now. And as you can see, now that they've evolved, there's, it's not really that much different. The, the pink on the toes is gone. The pink on the tails is gone. The only way you can actually really, really notice if you look at the ears... You can see uh, the the pink inside is, is the shiny, and it's slightly lighter in colour, which is funny because before it was the other way around. So it's like it's almost reverted back to the, uh, the original colours for the full body. Hello, Berserker in the background there, um, which is quite interesting. Let's move on to the next ones and have a look at those, shall we? Okay, so the uh, Alolan Persians here, and these ones is a bit more obvious which ones which one is in shiny. So like the purple was really much stronger on the shiny uh, Alolan region one on the left, and you can see there clearly the ears as well have the purple inside, and the eyes are the uh, sort of eye uh, eyelids are the darker purple too. The blue orb is the same color, and it's really obvious which one is not shiny because it's all the brighter color, like the same as the Meowth was earlier. Um, so it's really clear with these two. But again, I do like the the strong purple colors on the one on the left there. Oh, he's gone to sleep. Let's move on, shall we? Save your boredom. And here we have these brand new Pokemon. So this is really, really cool because this this is an evolution of Meowth that is not the Persian at all. As you can see, it's called a Berserker. And the shiny is on the left and it looks really, really good. It now looks much more like, it gives me like the Nordic kind of Viking kind of vibes. I love the look of it. Plus, if you look really carefully, I don't know if you can tell, guys. But the one on the left, the shiny one, this eyes and mouth are actually glowing, which is just amazing to see. Um, the color scheme... Looks more like an original Meowth colour scheme with the sort of the uh, this sort of sand sort of colour skin. Don't you dare leave. With that sort of sand coloured skin. And we've got the whole like helmet on top of his head here, which is really, really cool. Uh, the horns have now shrunk actually, which is interesting as well. But uh, this is a really cool Pokemon. It looks absolutely amazing. The other one doesn't even want to come back. <laughs> it's not going to listen to me. But as you can see, absolutely amazing. Uh, let's move on to the next section, shall we? Alright, just to finish off guys with this little section, I actually want to compare the two Persians to each other to see the differences, because I think the difference is really obvious with this one. Like, if you look at the heads for Star, Persian Persian, uh, Persian from Alola, the head is like a big round sort of circle. Persian from Kanto looks much more like what you'd expect from a sort of cat-like Pokemon. It's got, a, you know, a cat-like head. I don't really see many cats with the heads like this. But um, other than that, the bodies are different as well. I'm pretty sure the Persian from Alola is definitely bigger. And it has bigger ears as well. Obviously, the whiskers are different too. Um, but other than that, we see them turn around and run away. They move the same. The tails are the same. Okay, let's move on. Okay, back outdoors in the lovely sunny Dynatree area today. And I have no doubt in my mind that this Persian is going to be faster than me. But let's run and see what happens. I'm going to really run. Absolutely, as we yeah, exactly what I expected, man. This this is a, you know this looks it looks like a, a jaguar or a cougar, and as you can see, it has no trouble still catching me. I'm gonna get on my bike and see what happens. Can it keep up with me now? Absolutely can, absolutely can. In fact, it's slowly gaining on me, as you can see. So there we go. This guy is super super quick, which we absolutely love. Um, bro, let's go to the Alola one and see what that one does. With the Alola region uh, Persian, I'm actually gonna start on the bike and see what happens so let's get going and see if it keeps up I'm expecting the same as the, as the one from Kanto and yeah I'm absolutely right to believe that um, although it runs as you can see very differently I think like it's much more sort of bouncy when it runs but it's it's keeping up no problems in fact yeah it's very slowly gaining on me not as quick as the one from Kanto but yeah I, the run is very interesting it's quite fun it's quite like it's like a cartoon I know it is a you know game but it's a very comical sort of um, animated run compared to the one from the Kanto region, which looks like it's really like a proper run, as you'd expect from the animal. And finally, Berserker. And this time, I'm not going to be on the bike because I reckon it's going to run something more like how the Meowth moves. So I don't think it's going to be that fast. Um, we're going to go off on foot. Yeah, I was absolutely right to believe that. It actually looks really weird, like, because it's got the, its beard, you can't really see its legs moving properly. So they look really funny. They look like he's running without bending his legs, but I'm sure he is. Um, really funny look. But 
yeah, not it's, like, it's actually not very haunting or not very scary, which is mad to me because the Berserker looks very aggressive and very like you know violent, scary Pokemon. But now seeing it run, yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. <laughs> right, let's get these guys into battle. Okay, Kanto region up first. Let's jump him. No red, no shining. Okay. All right, so with this Persian here, as you can see, I think it's very realistic. Like, you know, if you see a cat, you know, roar or a cat cry, you expect it to do that exact motion with the head tilted up and leaning back and sort of put all its effort into it. So very realistic look from this one, which I'm happy with because, you know, the OG Pokemon, I think, were more or less, a lot of them are very similar to real animals. So um, I'm happy with that. Let's move on and check out the uh, Alolan. Right, Alolan's here. Let's jump in and do it. Okay, so similar but not the same, which I'm happy to see again. Like, I like it being slightly different. Still, I think what looks like a realistic sort of cat cry or, 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 or you know, a big cat roar. Um, the way they move the head tilts and the tail coming up at the end to really like, like it's tensing up. I like that. It looks realistic. I'm happy with that. It looks really, really good. Um, let's give Berserker a chance as well to really shine now because this will be a brand new animation. Okay, and here we have Berserker ready to go. So let's jump in for Berserker. Dang it, still no shiny greedance. Alright, so actually, looking at Pazurka, it's exactly the same as it was really for the uh, Girl Army Alpha. They've just done the same thing, lean back, scream, claws coming out. Which is disappointing to me, I've got to be honest, because with it being a brand new Pokemon, I was hoping they'd, we'd see a brand new animation, but instead they've sort of taken the same animation from the the new Meowth and just followed it through to, to the Pazurka. So, eh, lazy? Maybe so. But um, the Pokemon as a whole looks great. The back of this Pokemon is much more interesting than the others as well. I've got to say, with the like, it basically looks like it's got hair in a beard, and uh, very, very like you know, very Viking sort of Nordic feels, Scandinavian feels. I love it. it looks really, really good. Um, really cool Pokemon. But it's a shame it's got the same the same cry as the uh, the mouth. Please tell me in the comments which one is your favourite. Whether you like the Kanto version, the Alola version, or the brand new Gala version with the different evolution. I'd love to hear what your thoughts and views are. Um, I've got to say personally, I, it's really weird for me. I love the Kanto Persian as an evolution. I don't like the colours of it. But I much prefer the Meow from Alola with the colours and the look as well. So like, if I could do it my way, I'd probably have an Alola Meow, then go for a, 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 a Kanto Persian with, a, with Alola Persian colours. Um, and in Persia, I can't have as an extra at the side. But Berserk is a really cool looking Pokemon as well, I've got to say, I love it. Brand new for Galar, and I think it's a really good, good addition to the family. Right guys, otherwise, as I said before, hit my subs, give me a like, come back for the next video, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for passing by.